coach welcomes your post match. Thank you. Yeah, uh, good uh, evening to members of the media. I don't like <laughs> I don't like the 90 minutes. I think for a game of football you need three good teams. And um I think there were three teams that were below par today. Uh, of course one of them being mine. And um when my team is as the coach, when my team is not playing well and hasn't played well, I am the first, of course, that needs to be accountable for that. And and I don't think that was a, a good game of football, in my opinion. I think far too many of the ball incidents, far too many elbows and, and yeah. Um, and I don't think the referees had control of the game either, so... Um, yeah, I don't talk about the referees, so so the least I say, the better. But it's not a game of football that I like at all. Uh, coach, um, you don't want to talk about the referees, but you can talk about your own players, um, Lodge and um, Matthias get their debuts. Um, have you been impressed, or have you been impressed with them, with them? time you've had in training and obviously seeing them out on the pitch in a very competitive game. Yeah, I, 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 I yeah, we, we can all do better, starting with the coach. And, and of course, even with the new signings, uh, they can do better. Um, and it's difficult, I, I know and I understand. Of course, also with Lodge, the, the pressure, the talks, the, his former club and, and all the other things also don't help, you know, for him. Matthias still needs to adapt to the league, the intensity, the, the the way we want to play. So that's difficult for him and also the language doesn't make it even easier. Um, but okay, we can all get better and we can all improve. And, and that is first, the per first person to improve is me. That's, that's number one. Um, coach? I guess it's understandable from a coaching perspective to sort of say you don't like the too many handbags, which takes the shine away from the football. But somebody can also say that um, maybe it points to the rivalry that exists between these two teams. And you know, maybe isn't it good for football that some of the Pirates are, have got this big rivalry, they don't like each other? As long as they play on the pitch. As long as that is sorted out on the pitch uh, uh, with football, you know, I don't have a problem with rivalries. I think rivalries are good. I think rivalries are good for for South African football. You find them all over the world, but but they must be, you know. I mean, I I don't think we want to get to a scenario where we had in 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 the El Clasico a few years ago where for 90 minutes you don't watch football and it's just handbags the whole 90 minutes. And I don't think. It's I don't think I want to be part of that. So, I no. Actually, I know I don't want to be part of that. But okay, um, let's see uh, how it goes, and um, maybe it's a once-off. But uh, yeah, but I yeah. The less uh, the the least I say, the better. Sure, Carol. Uh, coach, normally Sipombulu when he does come on, you know, he when he clicks, the team then takes. I think that's what we saw from time to time today. How mm. are you from starting a football match consistently for sundowns? Because I think he's, he's that type of, what, cast that type of player. No, he's a good player, Sipo, but they're all good players. But today, uh, I think, I think, uh, I think, yeah, we, we can all do better, as I say, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't criticize my players in public. I will never do that. But I can say to you holistically, and starting again, as I say, with the coach, I'm very self-critical, and I'm not happy with my work. I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm very, very unhappy with 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 the personality of the team today, and um, maybe it's my energy, maybe it's my it's my yeah, and I have to look at myself first in the mirror. You know, maybe it's my it's, I'm I'm not doing enough to motivate the players. I'm not doing enough to a training to prepare the players. So I've got to start there. 
Good evening, sir. Talk to us about where Peter is mentally. Um, doesn't have a great outcome. Um, is he Yeah, if there is some form of silver lining in the dark cloud, it can be divine. I think divine was good today. Uh, it's difficult to play against um, a front three that's got not just speed and physicality, but also has very little defensive responsibilities, like uh, <coughs> Saleng doesn't track back. Uh, water. Oh, uh, man. Sorry, sorry. Bavo. Mm, the football gods agree with me. No, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, I, I think he, there was uh, one or two very good individual performances, and Divine, his performance was one of those. Stable, zero mistakes, uh, but okay, a little bit difficult on the build up, but that will come with a bit more understanding when he understands what to do in certain schemes. Um, Peter, where is he mentally? Ah, uh, Peter is Peter, you know. I was reading something that Thomas Tuchel said the other day, and I, and I actually, I could relate to it. And uh, of course, and Thomas Tuchel said something like, um, when the team wins and Harry Kane doesn't score, there is that level of unhappiness from Harry Kane even though he's happy that the team has won and he congratulates and he walks around of course with a with a good spirit but 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 that level of selfishness of knowing that i've got to score and contribute to the success of the team uh, is, is a quality that top strikers have and i think that's something that peter has and he puts a lot of pressure on himself to score and to help the team to win and and he's a uh, his uh, performances in AFCON and, 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 and not scoring in the AFCON, you can see he's carrying it a little bit. But okay, he will, he will overcome that because all, all very good strikers have very good moments and have moments where they are not so good. But, but what I like about Peter is that his overall game contribution is very, very good. He still presses, he still makes the movements, he still assists us with uh, a lot of other things from an offensive and a defensive perspective. And so that's, that's all you ask of, 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 of the players to do. Uh, coach, uh, Aduma. Sure, I just come. wanted to find out, uh, what is the situation regarding Nasir? Because he wasn't included in the match day squad today. Yeah, yeah. No, Nasir is, uh, I think the club will make an announcement. But, but Nasir has got a, a very, very difficult injury, a very complicated injury that he sustained in, in the Pirates game against, uh, uh, in the duel against with Mponchan and he hasn't recovered and he's really, really struggling to recover, um, which is a bit unfortunate because, because uh, you know, when you, you use the term career threatening, uh, that type of situation with Nasir is really, really career threatening. Um, and he needs all the support and that we can give him. Of course, he's at a good club uh, that looks after its players. And so he's in the right place and, and hopefully we'll see him back sooner rather than later. Yeah, the the Nasir one. I think the club will make an announcement. Is 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 that one is moved off my table? So it's more for the club to deal with. Um, and I think a lot of you have a direct contact. I see a lot of the sources, sources, sources in the club say. So maybe it's, it's, it's just to make a call to the sources at the club to get a little bit more of a, a better answer. Uh, but I'm not in that position to give, to give the, an answer on that. Um, what, what left me, yeah, no, I didn't like, I don't like the personality, I, I can't relate to it, you know. I don't like, not enough passes, not enough intensity, not, not aggressive enough in the jewels. Uh, yeah, no, not, 
I, I just I just couldn't relate with the personality of the team today. And I told them at half time. And uh, it was a little bit better in the second half. Um yeah, that's I just didn't like the personality of the team. Yes, Rubes. Uh, evening, Coach. Sure, Kent. Um, you, you mentioned now that you, you didn't like the personality of the team, but is it frustrating or maybe a bit flattering to see a big team come um, and play? Not really play, but uh, there were so many moments where like, it seemed that if there's one team that's cramping, even though there's two teams on the field and all the time wasting tactics. Is that frustrating or is it maybe flattering to you to say a big team like Pirates doesn't want to take chances and they're happy with the draw? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. But uh, like I said to you, I think you need three good teams to have a good football match. And I, 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 I didn't. I didn't get the feeling that there were three good teams on the pitch today. It's just a I just didn't get that feeling. And as I say, one of them being my team, so overly critical about my contribution towards that. And uh, I can't talk about the opposition. I can't talk about referees. So, but, but my feeling is that we didn't have three good teams on the pitch today. Coach, um, I think the first 30 minutes you guys lost a lot of position, um, unforced, giving the ball away. Um, does that speak to how important the players that were missing are? Because it's like a general consensus amongst you know the public and the fans that you can play anyone and still be as good as as you usually are. But I mean, there was big players, Debza, Kekana, Mvala, Modiba, who is very important and. Obviously, you guys didn't reach your usual standards with them not being there. Yeah, but that's not an excuse. You can't keep relying on that, you know, to say, oh, when we rotate, we drop points, oh, and, and we don't play well. It's, uh, there's no time. In, in big football clubs, there's no time for that. I'm, I'm still at Sundowns because we've been winning. It's my uh, fourth season now. Uh, we've won three league titles in a row. We've won the NetBank, we've won the MTN8, we've won uh, the AFL in, in, those, in those three years. So we have to do and co continue to win. And that's the job of a coach at a, a big club is you have to continue to win or, or you will be out. Is, is we have to win games and, and with those type of performances today, regardless of whoever is playing, we, ha we, we have to do better. And, and that's my feeling about the performance today. We, we have to do better. And, and me as the coach, I have to do better. Coach, just to follow up on Madame's question, you said your team wasn't good today. Is it a case that those who were the ones who were playing today did not fully take the opportunity to raise their hands because there are some who are missing? No, I, I don't want to go there because if I go there, then I... I, I I, 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 I always say to you guys, I will never do that to, to my players, no, no chance. But I have to be honest also, because now I come here and I say, ah, oh, what a good performance, and, and people think, but what is this coach smoking, you know? And so I have to be honest. And, but also there, there, is, there is validity in the sense of saying there's rotations, it's the first game after a long break, and, and all these things, okay, they contribute to that. But... We still have to show passion. We still have to show intensity. We still have to show desire, even if we're missing a bit of cohesion and and all of that. And and uh, and uh, I didn't feel that today. You know, I didn't feel that. Today. Okay, we have the last question from Emma. Thanks for the water, coach. You're welcome, sir. Coach, I'm I'm looking at this, you know, sadness that's been within this room, either from Pirates or Sundowns within the stadium itself, but the beauty of it is that the fans came out, oh, yeah. especially the Yellow Nation. I think that puts a, 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 a bright spark on the environment, but it was a bunch of nerves as well, even on the stands. The magnitude of this game, um, how big is this game um, in in your calendar, if you look at it, let's leave out the, the circuit derby. 
that the friend has been playing at night at 8 o'clock, I mean, it's almost midnight now, mm. he's still here. The magnitude of this game, what does it say to you on your calendar? Well, I, 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 I can only... Um, I can only hope that this becomes a regular occurrence because I think, I think, I think South African football needs this. I think South African football needs a lot more bums on the seats uh, to improve the product. I think that is really, really something that we need to to get right. And uh, big compliments to the supporters, both from Sundowns and from Pirates, that turned up for a category A game at eight o'clock, which is not easy. Uh, and also the media turn up is, is, is complimented also because, I mean, I see a lot of very familiar faces and it's good that uh, some of the guys that were in Ivory Coast, you know, could easily say, ah, but I need a bit of a break from football and all these things, but they are here and still still serving the game. So so it's good. It's good to see that... Uh, the prices we pay for food there, we need to... Uh, <laughs> we need oh. to find it. We need to make it back. Oh. No, I didn't know. Fortunately, I didn't travel to every coast, so I don't know the the level of expenditure you went through. But it's good. It's it's part of the price you pay for 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 the love of the game, and um, and also I must I must make a special mention to the Yellow Nation because I thought the turnout from the Yellow Nation was amazing. Uh, we dominated the supporters. We we were we were out in numbers, and uh, it's. The only disappointment is that we we don't leave with three points to to give them a very good feeling and uh, and compliment their turnout, you know. But but um, big compliments and huge kudos to the to the Yellow Nation. And it's a bit unfortunate that we we disappointed them. And we will make sure that we try to not make it a regular occurrence. Thank you, coach. Thank you, everybody. Drive safe, everyone. Yeah, Thank you so much. He's looking at his watch. He says it's past his bedtime. Oh.